Hi, I'm Elle, and if you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been around for a while, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> for a bit you know that i'm an online school student and dual enrolling which means that everything's online and i'm on a college schedule versus a high school schedule even though i'm technically a junior in high school still but that means that my breaks align with the colleges so that instead of a two-week christmas break i had this long six-week christmas break so in my week leading up to school starting i'm going to make a schedule hopefully make another time block like i had last semester which i'll take you guys along for and kind of practice implementing so i ran to barnes and noble and i got a calendar and a planner so i got this planner and the front is just like that little graphic and then it's pretty thick so there's a lot of days in the year and then you open it up and every day is just set up like this so there's a place to time block over here and then there's like notes you can write about your day and a checklist and then i felt like the doodle of the day was fun too and then I just got a rep tour calendar because as you know, love Taylor. I usually put these in my closet so that I can see at a glance what I have going on as like my big thing in the day. Then I have my bullet journal, which we talked about as a resolution of mine to start working in more again. And the bullet journal is gonna be more for like lists and goals and that kind of thing. And we're gonna set some spreads up today. So we're gonna start off by setting up a time block for my normal weekdays. So I kind of have a weird setup. I don't do the same thing every day. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday I go to work, so I have to be there from 2.30 to 4.30. On Fridays I drive my brothers to school, so that kind of kills my morning, but I have the afternoon. And then Wednesday, sometimes I go into my dad's office, sometimes I'm just home and I try to focus more on interior design that day regardless. Today we're gonna predominantly focus on that Monday, Tuesday, Thursday setup. So my day would look something like this. I'd get up at about 7 o'clock in the morning and take 45 minutes to read my devotion, wash my face, have some coffee, and then about 7.45, sit down and start school. Do school for about three hours until 10.45, and then go for a run and shower. Hopefully be done with that by about 12, 12.15, and then have a quick lunch. By 12.45 at the latest, sit back down to do some more school and work on that until around 2.15. At 2.15, head over to work, work lasts until about 4.30, come home, take a quick break, and then work on interior design or some other task that isn't school until around six. At six, spend some time with my family. And then when I'm back in my room around eight or nine, that's when it's my downtime. And I'll watch my favorite shows, read, draw a little bit, and then around 10.30, get ready for bed, lights out by 11. Okay, so now that my time block is set up, I'm gonna put some important dates in my calendar and then we're gonna set up some bullet journal spreads. The calendar is pretty self-explanatory. You open it up, write your important stuff in, move on. And now that we got all that out of the way, we're gonna talk bullet journaling. So I bullet journaled from like April to like, through the summer pretty much of last year. And I really, again, loved it, but it kind of fell off. This is like my favorite spread that I did. It was my travel spread and I loved how it turned out with like the skylines. And now we're gonna set up some morning and night routine for the school year spreads. On school days when I have the ability to do this, I want my morning to look something like this. I get up at 7.45 and I make my bed just so that there's no temptation just to go back to sleep. And then go over to my couch and read a short devotional and pray to make sure that I start my morning with God and just kind of set my mind on the right track and then head into the bathroom and do my morning skincare routine, which I'll make a video about at some point if I actually stick to this morning routine, then head downstairs, make some coffee, have a quick breakfast, chat with my family, and then finally check my calendar and phone before starting school. So kind of short and simple to the point, but just have a nice 45 minutes to wake up and do a few small tasks to be productive starting my day. Night will be a little bit different and longer because nighttime is more of like my downtime. So I think I'll start it at like 9 p.m., kind of come up to my room, watch a TV show. And then after watching an episode or two of something by around 9.45, take 15, 20 minutes to read, which is a short amount of time, but I want to build up my endurance as a reader and then read another devotional before going and getting ready for bed by, you know, taking my makeup off, doing my skincare routine, brushing my teeth, all that good stuff. And then finally taking a melatonin, turning off my light, and going to sleep. Okay, so now those spreads are done. They're not the prettiest spreads, but they get the point across and I just kind of like writing everything out and visualizing it for myself. Now, the final thing that we're gonna talk about today is just a few habits that I wanna implement. The first habit is I don't wanna be on my phone for the first 30 minutes of the day and the last 30 minutes of the day to give my brain a break and to kind of reset without looking at any screens. The second habit is to actually obey those screen time limits that I've set for myself, things like 20 minutes on Instagram or 30 minutes on games. Yeah, I always hit that ignore for the day button and I need to stop doing that. And my final habit is to clean up my room a little bit every day so that it stays neat and organized. I feel I'm more productive in a clean space. And if you remember Vlogmas, it was not a clean space and we weren't getting anything done. So, you know, spending those five, 10 minutes to keep it nice will go a long way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little organizational moment. It was definitely helpful for me. And if you did, feel free to like it and subscribe to make sure that I actually stick to these things that we talked about.
talked about. And I will see you guys next Sunday with another video. Bye.